And now joining me is Jennifer LeClaire with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Topeka. Of course, back to school. Mm -hmm. You guys are very busy right now. Yep. But you guys are now working, of course, with a new, mm -hmm. a new uh, place called Hearts, helping yes. empower adolescents reject thoughts of suicide. It's mm -hmm. a long, a long acronym there, it but is. a very important one. It is. So for the upcoming school year, you guys are going to be with them from uh -huh. September to May. Uh -huh. What can you tell me about these programs that you're going to be working with? There well, this HEARTS program is, they reached out to us. It was founded by a woman who lost her brother to suicide and really wants to, to take that tragedy and turn it into an opportunity to help teens. So uh, once per week, they'll be running a program at our teen center. So all of our teens that attend will get to be a part of that. It's a resiliency program that teaches them about, you know, confidence, coping skills, their self-worth. And we just think what a perfect alignment for us um, at the Teen Center to be able to pair with such a meaningful program. Yeah, and so what kind of activities are they gonna be doing once a week with those students? You know, they focus on what she calls the seven C's of resilience. Um, and I would fail if I tried to name yeah. all of them, but you know, confidence, character, coping skills. And I think that they just take time going through all of those and really arm these kids with the tools that they need to get through the challenges that life is gonna throw at them, so. Cause yeah. there is quite a few oh, in man. life that we get thrown at us, Yes, right? and we see increasingly that need for additional mental health services, you know, all the way from our littles up to our teens, but those teens are such like a special demographic, so this is a, a great opportunity for them. Okay, and so also, you know, you mm -hmm. speak about the teens, the teen Ooh, center out yes. there as well, so the teen center is completely, you know, mm -hmm. booked up, and you, yeah. you guys wanna serve more teens, yeah. but you need, of course, more help to to do so. So right. how do you guys plan on doing that and, and who yes. are you looking for right now? You know, it's crazy. Our, our teen services have just grown and grown. I think um, word is getting out there about the amazing opportunities that these kids get with workforce readiness, with college visits, and just the incredible programs that happen there every day. Um, so we are at capacity for the first time. Um, 100 that's teens exciting, enrolled. Though. Yeah, it's yeah, exciting. Really cool. <laughs> but we have the opportunity to expand and yes. allow more kids into the uh, to the organization if we're able to get more staff. So, at, you know, staff at our teen center, it's a really great, flexible, part-time job for college students. Um, you get to, you know, we work around your class schedule and spend some time with really incredible kids at the same time. So, so you can, I mean, people in college, people mm -hmm. can apply still, and you guys will yeah. work with them. You don't yep. have to have a, you know, a degree or anything like that. You can, of yeah. course, work with those kids. We'll provide on-the-job training for oh, what wow. we call impact coaches are basically who work direct service with our teens. Mm -hmm. And just the more that we're able to hire, we're able to, you know, bring in more kids from the wait list, which is exciting. Yeah, so. and serve the community, which mm -hmm. you guys love doing. Yeah. And, you know, you guys also have after school and before school care, of mm -hmm. course, with I can't believe it still spots are open. So <laughs> if you if you want to get those last couple of spots, how yes. can people go about doing that and signing up? Yes. Yeah, so a lot of our sites are, are at capacity, but we do have some available. And if you're still needing before or after school mm -hmm. care or if you're thinking about winter break, spring break, visit bgctopeka.org, click parent portal. Let's get you taken care of and get that spot reserved today. Yeah, of yeah. course, we're going to have all of that linked in our uh, mm -hmm. in our web story after mm -hmm. the show, too, so that people can know exactly where to go. Yes. Click right there and you can apply if you're interested of exactly course, for yes. whether that be a job or whether that be mm -hmm. just the after school or before school yeah. program and as of today all of our districts are back in in action <laughs> so um, Auburn Washburn was kind of our last school district to to get everybody going and we're ready to see all those kiddos so we're back at it 2023-24 school year is upon us it is I've been warning you <laughs> yep all right well thanks so much Jennifer yeah, for coming on the show you. today yep thank you